Hello and welcome to a new video about non-feedback controls. Last time we talked about uh, cascaded control systems, uh, cascaded approach that we are using linked controls uh, and cascade them to reach a possibility to, to fulfill all possible control tasks. We have seen it's working, but we have also seen phew, to reach to, to, to see behind the logic, yeah, it's not that easy. Even with our small example here, this was not that easy. We'll do the same example. Here I've drawn this again, and now we're doing a sequence control. Yeah? And a sequence control, there is a memory flip flop, yeah? SR flip flop, SR memory for each step. Yeah? So somehow I need to remember. How, in which step I am. And this is just one, one memory by step. Yeah? So let's again start with the, with the lines. Yeah? So we have again a start command yeah? and we have the limit switches. One PG one, one PG two, two PG one, and two PG two. Okay. And now I will simply draw an SR flip flop, okay. and I'd say if this is set, okay. we are in step one. In step one, this is immediately the command. Yeah? Step one, one mm one out. This already gives the command. Yeah? We are in step one. Okay, pff, give up. Okay. Now there is the memory for step number two. What needs to happen in step number two? Two mm one out. Okay. When do we need to set step number two? When will this be set? There is an end. There's a transition. Yeah. If we are in step number one. And now one PG two, so the output one PG two is there. Then we change to the second step. Okay, but now we have two steps active. Yeah? So as soon as the second step gets active, we will reset this step. Yeah? So we. Set now the command, one mm, one mm one out, one mm out is going out, and as soon as it touches the limit switch here, yeah, we will switch to step number two, step number two, two to mm one out, yeah, and I will do exactly the same here, S, Q, R, Q, Step three is two mm one in. Okay, when do we have to make the transition? Yeah. Once we are in step two, and what needs to be fulfilled? Two PG two yeah? because we are at this position. Two PG two needs to be there. Then we set this, and here. We make the reset of the previous step. Straightforward approach, right? Last step. S Q R not Q. Yeah. This is step 
4 1 mm 1 in yeah? when do we have to switch to step 4 if we are at step 3 and 2 pg1 here 2 pg1 is there set this reset the previous When do we have to reset step number 4? We will reset this once. <laughs> when, when do we have to start now? Step number 1. Yeah, there must also be an end. Yeah. We will start this if we are in step number 4. Hmm. And 1BG2 is active and we have a start signal. Then we will set this and the set of this will reset step number 4. So this is a very straightforward approach, you see. We don't have to use this colorful picture from last time, where in the end nobody knew what happened. Yeah? We see it. Yeah? We see it one by one. Yeah? See step number two, step number three. It's very straightforward and it's extendable, simply extendable. Yeah? So we always have a step, we have a transition, to go to the next step and the next step will reset the previous step. This is exactly like in the graph set. Yeah? This is exactly for in this graph set. A lot of controls can be done that way. Yeah? Also in PLCs and so on, step control. Yeah? A very usual approach and with the nowadays low prices of some memories and so on, this is how this should look like. You will hear in your career probably the phrase the engineering costs are too high. Yeah? Use a standard approach, use a straightforward approach, everybody can understand. Within almost no time, yeah? engineering costs will drop. If you then still hear it, you say, hey, I've done what I can. <laughs> will not satisfy your boss, but yeah. Step approach. So now we talked a lot of how we can describe what we want to have from a control. We talked about basic techniques, how this control might look like, the logic inside. Next few videos we're going to talk about realization of. You know, it must not be this. This is just the logic. A memory cannot, must not be something. It can also be an impulse valve, for instance. There's a short impulse, the valve is switched and this is a pressure line, then this would be this would be pneumatic or hydraulic logic. Possible. We'll talk about what possible uh, realizations of control systems we do have in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.